Is this the final design or will I change it up some more? Keep watching to find out! Hi Soapy friends, it's Steph from Micahs and More. Here's the inspiration pick for my new soap testing Island Escape fragrance oil. Let's make soap! This is a one pound test batch and I've already added my lye water to my melted oils. The lye water has sugar, sodium lactate, and Tessa silk in it. My oils are lard, coconut, olive pomace, cocoa butter, and shea butter. I'll stick blend until it reaches a light trace. And now I'll add the fragrance oil. This scent is sweet, fruity, and tropical with notes of tamarind, mandarin, red currant, date, and coconut milk. My first color is Peacock Blue Mica mixed in a little bit of reserved oils. I use one teaspoon of mica and I'll add one cup of soap. I'll use the same amount of Luster Blue Mica. In a smaller portion, I'm using clementine mica to represent the orange notes. As an accent color, I'm adding gold shimmer mica. And for contrast, I'll use some white satin mica. For my design, I'll add the luster blue to the peacock blue for an in-the-pot swirl. I'll add the clementine on one side. The white satin mica goes on the other side.
This is the portion that I left uncolored so that I can see if the fragrance oil will discolor the soap. Let's get this soap in the mold. The design was inspired by a technique in acrylic painting called the tree ring pour. Initially, I wasn't happy with the way that this looked, so I decided to add the remainder of the gold on top and give it a little swirl. One last look and I'll put this one to bed. I'll put it in a box and under a blanket for at least 24 hours. This soap was ready the next day, but I had another issue with a different soap, so it ended up sitting for two days. And that turned out to be a mistake because it was quite dry and crumbly. I'll use a pastry cutter and a toothpick to mark where I want to cut the soap. The pastry cutter turned out to be a poor choice for cutting this soap as it had sat for a day and was dry, but soap and learn.
And here's the cut soap picks. I decided to plane the tops and I really like this look a lot better than my swirl design. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to order items used here, you can do that in my online store, micasandmore.com. And if you join my Facebook group, Steph's Micas and More, you can share what you make too. Thanks for watching.